this is like a scientific drama. I mean, the story. So there's these samples taken in March of 2020. They're intermittently made available for researchers to look at. Mostly they say, hey, yeah, look, we've looked at these samples taken from this Wunan seafood market, and there's really no evidence of anything other than there was COVID there like there was in a lot of places in Wuhan. All of a sudden, just this past week, the samples show up on a server again. And you got these researchers around the country who are constantly hitting refresh to see if there's any new data on these servers. And they say, well, yeah, there, this new data showed up. So they quickly downloaded it. And what they found was this. In samples that had previously been positive for COVID-19, they also saw that there was the presence of this animal DNA in those samples as well. That animal, as you pointed out, the raccoon dog a type of uh, uh, animal that is known to be able to carry coronaviruses and possibly transmit them. So that's what we know now, that there was animal DNA, COVID DNA, intermixed within the Wunan seafood market in March of 2020. It does, it's not a silver bullet, it doesn't answer this for sure, but it, it, because what you'd need to know that would be an actual infected animal. This is not an actual infected animal. You'd also need to know a timeline, meaning is it possible humans could have still brought the virus to the market and the raccoon dogs got infected by humans. It's possible. So it's really interesting, but not definitive. You know, you may say, well, why is this data so hard to come by? Remember the, the sort of narrative from the Chinese government right now is that COVID, they say originated in the United States, in Maryland, at an army lab. So there's lots of reasons that this data, I think, has been sort of hidden or at least suppressed.